Hello, Virgo. Welcome to my channel, Autumn and the Mage. Right when I hit uh, record, the card flew out. So, <laughs> anyway, this is a general reading in regards to love for Virgo. It is general, so it might not resonate with you. If you were drawn to the video, then perhaps there is a message intended for you, or perhaps the entire message is intended to be yours. But if some part of it doesn't resonate, then don't try to force it. Just take what feels right to you and um, leave the rest behind. So the card that I was, I'm sorry, I was using the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck to draw the overall energy or an overall message in regards to um, this connection for you, Virgo. And the card that we get is card number five, which is, it says the Waxing Crescent three and it represents growth and five is actually a number of conflict but with conflict we grow and with conflict we with struggle sorry with struggle we well we we grow we become more uh we understand more if we allow ourselves to and so this growth card is about it's about maybe things not being easy but uh, in that in in that process through that process we become more and so um, I'm going to try to clarify here with two with tarot can I get clarification on the growth card there but I believe that this sorry I, I believe that this is saying okay um, that things aren't going to, that things aren't easy maybe right now but that if you allow it to, you can progress forward and it can build into something more and something greater and something bigger. Um, the card that we get to clarify so far is the devil and the eight of cups. Wow, we get three cards. The devil, the eight of cups, and the ten of pentacles. That's interesting. So the devil speaks to about toxicity, okay, and about... Um, excuse me, something in our life that that we allow to control us, something outside of ourselves, something outside of our own emotions uh, that we allow to control us. And the devil can represent an obsessive thought, for example, something that you're just thinking about and you won't let it go. You just won't let it go. And because of that, uh, you're acting according to that thought, you know, or belief that you have, something that you believe that you're just not letting go of. But the devil can also represent uh, addiction or something along those lines. Anything that we're allowing to control us, okay? We shouldn't allow, <laughs> we shouldn't be allowing them to control us. And that's what makes it toxic, okay? The Eight of Cups, which is needing to walk away from something, um, needing to walk, a walk away from toxicity, the... In the Eight of Cups, there's, we have these eight cups here, and we've filled them up with our energy, with our love, with our focus, okay? And, and so they are pieces of us, and it can be really hard to walk away. It can be really hard to see that those cups are no longer benefiting us, that they're no longer uh, feeding us and nurturing us. They're now, they have now become something that is toxic, something that is holding us back. And so we have to accept that and we have to release ourselves from it so that we can move on. And we get the 10 of pentacles here, which indicates that it has something to do with connection. The 10 of pentacles represents family. It represents, um, sometimes marriage, okay, but stability, commitment, something that surrounds us that we, um, well, I mean, it could be family. So it might be something here in regards to your family that you need to walk away from or something, something that you've been invested in, something that you thought even would be a forever, okay, or a, um, yeah, because the Ten of Pentacles represents like longevity and and uh, foundation that we've built on with the intention of it lasting for all of time. So something here, this change is in regards to toxicity, something you need to walk away from and um, something in regards to a connection, which I'm not saying you have to walk away from this Ten of Pentacles, but there's something about it that's not that's not healthy, something about it that, that's not good that you need to walk away from. And that's what this change here represents. I mean, this growth. Why do I keep saying change? 
but yeah so there we go that's what we have to start let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the person connecting with you if you are in a connection with someone and you it's it's bad for you if it's a bad connection if it's not good and but the other person doesn't see it that way if they can't see that it's toxic if they can't see that it's hurting you uh, and all they see is how much they love you or something along those lines uh, that is not <laughs> that is not the way that I was about to say that sounds really mean, okay? But honestly, you can't be responsible for somebody else's feelings. You really have to. You have to take care of yourself always. And so if you're in a connection or if you're involved in something here that you invested in, but that is no longer helping you and you need to walk away from it or you need to change something about it, um, you have to do what's right for you regardless of how someone else feels. I say that because we're about to look at how this, how the person you're connecting with feels about you. And if they're the person that you need to change something with that so that you can grow, um, you might be just, you might feel discouraged from doing that because they feel at peace or happy with you right now. Like that might be what we see come out here. And I just want to say, you have to do what's best for you regardless of how they feel. Anyway, so can we please get three cards for how this person feels about Virgo? How does this person connecting with them feel about them, please? How does this person feel about Virgo? It's funny how those cards kind of came flying out, especially that five, that growth card. It just shot out almost before I could start the video. And now we're like struggling here. What's, what what do we get here? Oh, the Queen of Wands. That's great energy. First off, uh, that's fire energy there so you might be dealing with an aries leo or sagittarius but the queen of wands means that they feel um magnetically pulled towards you they find you attractive they find you alluring the two of swords they can't decide they can't decide they feel possibly they're not facing a decision that they know they need to but with the two of swords that's that's a lack of action you know it's not taking action oh and the empress wow the Empress, this is Taurus energy, so you might be dealing with the Taurus. Um, also, what do we get? The Devil's Capricorn energy, so you might be dealing with the Capricorn. But the Empress is beautiful energy. It's a beautiful way to feel about somebody because it means that they, like I said with that Queen of Wands, they find you attractive. But more than that, they, they see potential with you. They feel like they could, they could, grow something with you like it could become more the empress represents like giving birth to something and creation and like that start of life and for someone to feel this energy towards you it means they they have hope for and they see the possibility and the potential in you and the empress is also kind of like the ideal partner you know because uh, i look at everybody in a way, I look at everybody as the emperor, okay, regardless of gender, okay, because it's just about energy. But like, if we're all the emperor, then the empress would be our, our, our perfect partner, you know, and so that's kind of what that empress represents, the possibilities, the hope, and the beauty, all of it is really positive. Can we get three most likely actions this person will take towards Virgo, please? What's the most likely actions? I think it's interesting in that Two of Swords said that it's almost looks like a Grim Reaper, like almost like the death card in the Two of Swords there. I'm gonna show it to you in just a second. Can I get please three most likely actions this person will take towards Virgo? Is 
What's that? The lovers? The lovers. Which, as actions, is more a choice, you know? Choosing the path that feeds our heart. Going where our heart leads us. That's what the lover's card represents as an action, okay? Following our heart. Can I get two more cards? What actions will this person take towards Virgo? The Emperor. Wow. We have the Emperor and the Empress on the board. The Emperor, as far as action, I mean, that's like stepping into your power. If they consider you the Empress, if they feel that about you and they're in this Emperor energy, then they really do feel like you are um, intended for each other. Like you, the Emperor and the Empress is the couple, like the masculine and feminine unit, okay? So, and as far as action, the emperor is kind of like take ownership of, like, that sounds bad, but the emperor, he owns it and he knows he owns it and stepping into your power and being confident and like, um, I feel like this has come out a lot for you, Virgo, but I also feel like Virgos have been the, the zodiac sign that connects the least with my readings. I don't know why, but like you guys, or you don't want to hear whatever it is I have to say, like you don't want to be in a connection with whoever it is, because it feels like it's all been positivity coming towards you, really. Um, I can't remember last week's reading, but before that, there was a lot of positivity, and I feel like you guys have just been like, no, and I just don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. This person, though, they're going to choose to follow their heart, and they're going to step up. Page of Pentacles. See, and this has come out for you before. Like, this person wants to make a gesture. The page is a, a messenger, okay? But pages also represent um, something small. They represent immaturity and they represent youth because it, it's something, it's not a grand gesture. It's not a massive gesture. It's something small that they want to make. They want to make this gesture. These cards are... Okay, we're going to go ahead and clarify all of this. Queen of Wands. The Emperor, by the way, is Aries energy. You might be dealing with an Aries. The Lovers is Gemini energy. You might be dealing with a Gemini. Not necessarily. It's really just energy. But can you please clarify the Queen of Wands for how this person feels about Virgo? Please clarify the Queen of Wands. I know Virgos sometimes, um, you have so much hope within you, you know? So much hope, but you expect the worst. It almost seems like you expect it to go poorly. Uh, which is so sad because you hope for so much more. And I wish you could let that hope push you forward instead of that uh, fear. So we get the Four of Swords in, in regards to the Queen of Wands. And the Four of Swords talks about healing, but it really talks about pausing and taking a minute to plan for the future. In the Four of Swords, we, um, we've been injured and we're, we're laying down and recovering and trying to figure out how we're going to win the next battle. So it's kind of like a pause and contemplation kind of card. So they do feel drawn to you, but they're not moving towards you there, which is, or they feel like they can't move towards you, which isn't the action they're going to take. Sometimes our actions and our feelings don't exactly line up. The Two of Swords, we get the Eight of Swords. So there's some decision here. Oh, I was going to show you this because it looks kind of like a Grim Reaper. See him? With those two swords. There's like a heart hooked up to the tree there. And this swan back here holding out a flower. Oh, wow. It's like one, one swan is offering their heart and the other is offering a flower. Like, look at this pretty thing. 
<laughs> Sorry. Two of swords. So that's like not making a decision, not facing a decision. And we get the eight of swords, but they're like, they're, they're trapped. They're feeling trapped by it. They can't, they don't know what to do with the eight of swords. They don't know um, what choice to make. And mentally, they feel trapped. They box themselves in. There's some thought that they can't release themselves from. And because of that, they're unable to face or make that decision from that two of swords. Can we clarify the Empress? We get the King of Wands, which is more fire energy. Didn't we get Queen of Wands right there? Yeah, see, this is what I'm saying. They, they see you as their other half. I mean, they see the two of you as we have two power couples on the board and the power couple and the lover's card. This person feels connected to you. They feel like the two of you are of equal energy, of equal, they feel e like they are equal to you, like you are balanced and they feel a lot of passion for you the ace of swords which is an understanding it can also be communication aces represent new beginnings so like wanting to share that with you wanting to tell you that it can also be that they just realized that but i don't think so i don't feel like this but possibly they just realized that the two of you are tied together that you are of equal like energy and equal balancing levels here can we clarify the lovers, please, for action they're going to take? The three of pentacles, that's collaboration. So yeah, they, they're going to, they want to come together. They're going to follow their heart with the lovers card, and they're going to try to collaborate. They want to build with you. They want to um, work together as a team to create something, which is more of that what that empress energy is as well like wanting to create together wanting to build together can you clarify the emperor please please clarify the emperor <laughs> the page of swords that's funny. The emperor doesn't question. He just knows. Okay. It's very um, forward energy, very commanding energy because the emperor doesn't have to, he doesn't have to ask. It's very confident energy, but it's funny because it's being clarified by the page of swords, which is kind of the investigator. Like, like it's funny. It's really funny the way that that comes out. You see if you could imagine somebody who comes off like super confident and super in charge, but like really inside they're like, they're like, I think, you know, like, am I right? It is, is this what's, is this what I think it is, you know? So, cause with that page of swords, it's curiosity, but it's also questioning. So it's like, oh, sorry, this just kind of fell. It's like, um, yeah, like they're going to come across as all confident and commanding of the situation, but they're really just unsure, truly, with that page of swords coming out. They're unsure. They don't know if it's what you want. Can we, pl can we please clarify the page of pentacles? We get the five of wands. which is um, the five of wands is like that five up there, like I was talking about, it's conflict, okay? Fives represent conflict, they represent change. And this five of wands is, um, I consider it a, a leveling up card, okay? Because it's about competition. And um, there is some kind of conflict outside of this person that they are not going to back down from the five of wands, we feel very passionately. I mean, look at these people. Neither one of them are backing out of this fight. They are going to fight till one of them wins. And that's what the five of wands represents to me. Yes, conflict. There is conflict. There is something here that is changing. And, and, um, and that change is causing this, the conflict, um, or, or there's conflict that is trying to force change. 
but there is a conflict and they're not backing down from it. And this page of pentacles might be just a message of that, you know, like declaring, I'm not giving up, you know, I'm holding on, I'm going to fight this fight. It might be them picking a fight with you if that's what they feel needs to happen in the situation. But this is fighting and this is uh, not backing down. Like I'm going to win this fight or I'm going to fight until one of us loses. And so, which doesn't necessarily have to be you. This could be a fight with somebody else in uh, surrounding this connection, but they definitely are going to put up a fight. So let's see here. I'm going to use the charming Oracle here light and dark messages to get some messages for you from this person these cards here uh, are words first off second it's a general reading so not if, if a message comes out here and you're like well that's totally not the situation then just know that it's not intended for you it's intended for somebody else who who may be watching the video so i I thought there was a card in reverse when I did the last reading and I flipped through the deck trying to find it and I couldn't find it. It says, I'm really sorry for all the pain that I have caused. I don't know. That's so weird that it, that's fine. So if this person has hurt you, please know that they, uh, they are sorry for whatever pain that they've caused. I feel like I didn't find it in that video because it was meant to come out in this one, but they the last video was taurus so maybe you're dealing with a taurus i don't know can i please get how does this person feel about virgo how does this person feel about virgo please cards came out. That's cool. All right. So we have rejecting you was actually protecting you. I was a mess at that time. So if you feel like you've been rejected by them, then it definitely wasn't personal. It wasn't like intended. It wasn't you. It was them. People say that and they make it sound like it's a lie or something, but oftentimes it's really not, you know, the person really is trying to work something out for themselves. But the day I, the day I let you go was the hardest day of my life. The wording there was weird, right? I just can't seem to get over you. All the signs I'm getting are pointing back to you. I know that we have unresolved karma that we need to clear first. Reunion, I will return to you. If it's meant to be, it will be. Understanding, you were never the problem. I know that now. I am scared that you don't feel the same way. That's why I'm keeping my feelings for you a secret. And I just can't stop thinking about you. So hopefully those messages resonate with you in some way. We're going to get a note from the universe, and then we're going to get advice from Tarot. Can please get a message for Virgo? Please a message for Virgo in regards to this connection. Message for Virgo. Okay. We have two cards here. What you give will come back. When in doubt, give. Let them have it. Surrender. Make peace. When there's no doubt, give. Let them have it. Surrender. Make peace. Did I make life too easy? The universe. P.S. There's no doubt who's number one in my book. Shh. Uh, so <laughs> what this is saying is exactly what it says. What you give will come back. It's saying if you are unsure 
give anyway. And really, I think this is a really, I really wish people would choose to live this way. And it's like I was telling you, you have so much hope in you. Virgos have so much hope. You really do. You you want the best and you hope for the best, but you expect the worst. And, and I don't know why you do that. And I just wish that I could help you see that it's okay to have hope. It's okay to, and, and it will serve you better if you go into a situation with that, lead with that, have that hope, allow yourself to believe in the possibility, allow yourself to do that, and then move forward. And whatever the outcome is, you will benefit from it if you allow yourself to. Um, I think what happens with Virgos is that you do have all of that hope and you, you, you're let down and then you, you feel the need to like cage that hope in or like squelch it, uh, thinking that everyone will let you down because someone has let you down. And that's just me ranting about Virgos. I'm sorry, but <laughs> sorry, <laughs> but like have hope. That's what this is telling you. Lead with what you want because that that's what will come back to you. So the second card here is I heart you. If everyone really knew how much they were loved, not only from above, but by those now in their life, there'd be little hearts drawn on everything from wheelbarrows to skyscrapers to jumbo jets. And I so look forward to that day. Big heart, the universe. So yeah, I mean, you are loved. They, even if it's not this person, but the, it is this person, they totally, they have you up on a pedestal and they feel connected to you and they feel, um, they feel like you're supposed to be a part of each other's lives in some capacity, okay? And that that is what this message is, I heart you. They, their heart is connected to yours and they know it and they feel it. So whatever it ends up being, there is that. Let's take a look at advice. Can we please get suggested actions or advice for Virgo? Suggested actions or advice, please, for Virgo. The Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups as advice talks about what's already there, you know? It tells you to appreciate what you have because there is already, in the Ten of Cups, this is home, you know? This is peace, okay? with somebody, feeling at home with somebody, feeling at peace with somebody, feeling like you can even express yourself emotionally uh, and share that with somebody. And when it comes out as advice or said suggested actions, it's saying that that exists in your world. Acknowledge it and appreciate it. Like there are, it, it, that's what it's saying. It's there. Appreciate what's there. Okay. Can I get two more cards suggested? Uh, action or advice, please, for Virgo. Seven of Pentacles <laughs> is telling you, um, well, it's it's saying take a minute, pause. It's a pause card. It's telling you that you've invested in something and you have um, given your energy to something. Give it a minute to grow. Give it a minute to, um, to settle and, and, and sprout, you know. Yeah, it's really what I'm saying. And the Page of Swords, which is uh, a call to be honest. Also to investigate. I mean, like I said, the Page of Swords is an investigator. It's someone who is asking questions, has curiosity. So it's telling you to ask the questions and also to be honest, to be truthful. Um, reach out, be honest, ask the question that you want to ask and, and if they, if it, be honest, be it, <laughs> be honest, tell the truth, ask the question you want to ask. That's what this card says. <laughs> I could just say it over and over again. <laughs> ask your question. 
be truthful. Anyway, that's that's pretty much everything I have for you here, Virgo. I'm, I hope that this resonated for you. I hope it brought you some kind of clarity in the situation that you're in. And uh, if it did, I'd love to hear about it. You could comment on the video or like the video. That lets me know that it resonated for you. Or shoot me an email. My email address is listed in the description box below. But thank you so much for watching this. I truly appreciate it. I love reading tarot. It's so much it brings me so much joy. It really does. I, I am grateful for the opportunity to do it. I'm grateful to be here recording this right now. So thank you in whatever way you encourage that and support that. So thank you very much and good luck to you. Please remember to move forward with positivity. Remember to be grateful, be generous, because when we are grateful and generous, we call in more ways to be generous and more things to be grateful for. So do that for yourself. Have that hope. Virgo. And yeah, that's all that I have. Good luck to you. I hope I see you back here again soon. Bye.